to my channel i'm here for two reasons first to share my skincare routine with you all but for the second reason we'll get into that later so let's start with the skincare i just came out of the shower so my face is freshly washed which is usually the first step of every skincare but the face wash i face wash i use i use the face facts ceramide skin barrier complex hydrating cleanser i use this because i got this because it's big and it's affordable that's really it so for the next step of my skincare routine i'll be going in with the toner and the toner i use is this um aqua liquorized peak balancing cleansing toner i would either use this with a cutting pad or just apply it directly or for some time now i've been applying it directly so that i can get all the benefits that that is in this toner so just rub that in i also like to take it down my neck because that's what the skin care experts recommend or oh, another thing i also like to do is also take the excess down and rub it on my hand so i'm just going to let that sit in for a bit and just dry down a bit so the second reason i am here have you ever wondered how the story of jesus chasing out the those buying and selling the temple how it relates to our body our bodies being the temple of god well i wondered about it and that's the reason or that's the second reason i'm here to share you where that line of thinking ended me or where that line of thinking got me but well, let's continue with our skincare and we'll chat through my thoughts or i'll share my thoughts while i do my skincare so this has dried down a bit the tone has dried down a bit so the second thing i'll be going with is the advanced snail mucine power essence this is an and I drink the essence of the glue and I just like the gooey gooey texture on my face. I used to use the moisturizer before but I heard this is even better so I got it. So I just want to rub that in apply it to my face. Don't forget the next yeah I also take it down my next and also now my hand. So why this dry down? Let's chat a bit, okay? Uh, the Bible says our bodies are the temple of God, and what that would mean to me is that God dwells within me, right? And I know that, you know, remember the Bible says cleanliness is next to godliness, right? Did the Bible say that? But then there's a saying that cleanliness is next to godliness, and we know that God is not going to inhabit a place that is dirty or unhealthy or filthy and all of that and so it is important to care for our body the physical aspect of caring for our body which is eating healthy eating good food nutritious foods to care for the internal organs which is also part of the physical body uh, we also care for our outward physical which is skincare like this just whatever it is you can do to care for your body right it's important to do so because you want to stay healthy to carry the king of kings right so um there's also the spiritual aspect right nourishing the spirit man and i was thinking about how jesus drove those people buying and selling from the temple and it got me wondering how does this apply to us being as temple like what could buying and selling mean for me as an individual and in one in what ways my bank and sell it. and you've noticed that that was the only place that i remember that you could tell that jesus was pretty angry like he was very angry and you could tell that he was angry and for something that will get jesus that angry there has to be something really important right he said there that my house shall be called the house of prayer but you have turned it to a den of robbers so while i was trying to think about what this could mean uh i came up or I, I believe the holy spirit just helped me come to this um conviction right 
the temple was a place that was built for worship right that was the purpose of the temple for worship but then these people were using it for something entirely different outside the purpose for which it was created buying and selling that wasn't the purpose that the temple was created and how this would apply to me or to us as believers is that we are made for a purpose there's a purpose for which we are created as human beings there's a purpose for which for instance god gave me my beauty there's a purpose for which maybe he made me um, short or tall or whatever the case may be there's a reason for which he made me light skin there's a reason for everything and the sooner we um, understand that reason the better for us in fulfilling our purpose and making sure we are actually pleasing god with our lives and with our existence right and it's just interesting that uh, every every detail about me was carefully thought out, right? Like every detail about what makes up who I am as messy was carefully thought out and it is not to be taken for granted. So I can't just um, wake up and say, oh, um, this is who I am. I can do whatever I like. Nobody can tell me what to do, blah, 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 blah. Because no, I cannot do whatever I like. I have to do or function in capacity for which I was created. And it further emphasizes the need for discovering your purpose, for discovering why you were created. Because if you are living outside your purpose, it's hard to actually live a completely fulfilling life. Or a fulfilling life at all, really, if we are not living within the scope of our purpose here on earth. You get me? Uh, but let's continue the skincare, right? Let's take care of the body. So why this, I believe, has dried down a bit. I'll be going in with the serum. This serum I use is this um, Glow Serum Popolis Plus Nacinamide from Beauty of Josin. And I'll just apply a few drops. Apply a few drops of this, rub it in as usual, like I did the other two ingredients. Can you see that glow? Yeah. As usual, I'll take it down my neck and rub it on my hands. So, see how glowy it is. But yeah, so that's exactly what it is. Like, take care of your body. The physical body right it's important as children of god for us to not be careless like because it's easy to just be careless and feel like oh it's carnality to maybe take care of this uh, but no it's it's actually a good thing because if you look presentable if you look nice you look attractive and attractiveness doesn't have to be a negative thing it can be used towards the will and the purpose of god right and so it's good to prepare yourself take care of yourself in the way that is good for your body and even more so the physical take care of your spiritual health and well-being as well but more importantly make sure you are, you are living in purpose right make sure that you're not using your gifts your resources or whatever it is that god has embedded in you for anything else that is besides the reason you were created because it's not just going to be a case of um oh i don't i didn't get to live a fulfilling life so what or or whatever other flimsy reason one could come up with because this is actually something that might grieve the heart of god because i created these people like there's a certain expectation i demand from them but then they're not living up to this expectation and that can suddenly and grieve the heart of god remember i said that that was the only case i remember that jesus got angry so we don't want to be offending god by living carelessly and just doing things like um by just doing this doing, doing things carelessly really so yeah that's what i wanted to share i hope it ministered to you uh, to finalize the skincare, I usually go in with moisturizer. I use this one, the Tame Lux Hydrate and Glow, or I use this one. 
right this one is a thicker moisturizer so i prefer to use this during the day it's currently night time so i prefer to use it maybe daytime so that my face is moisturized for long but since it's night time i'll just use this one and i just take a little this is also quite moisturizing but that is very thick apply my moisturizer remember to rub it on your hands as well because not it's not only the face that needs skincare every other part of your body needs to be cared for really after if this were the daytime after it's moisturized i usually go in with my sunscreen and this is the one i use the atomuki sunscreen i like this because it's big it's affordable and it can go over my face and my body so yeah that's pretty much my skincare is really really basic if you ask me i don't really do too much i try not to do too much just not to overwhelm myself and it's been working for me so far my face is clear so yeah that's it really sometimes i go in with this but not often i actually got this for my husband because of um, his eye pump pigmentation so he, he uses this more than i do maybe once in a while one other thing that i would use is um uh tretinoin but i've not even used that in a while to be honest but i tend to use that sometimes once in a while as well and at night time so that's it for my skincare routine and that's it for uh the other thing i had to say us as temple of god so i hope you found value uh that's it really so i'll see you guys in my next video i hope you enjoy this please do like share and subscribe to the channel take care of yourselves bye